What is the greatest discovery made by mankind? When presented with a question such as this, what would your answer be? Penicillin, gravity, computer programming? The most well-known scientists in history are often known for a key achievement. Alexander Fleming for discovering penicillin, Sir Isaac Newton for discovering the laws of gravity, or perhaps less well-known, Ada Lovelace for forming the foundations of computer science. Their identity has been defined by their legacy. This summer, we were privileged to accept a place at the London International Youth Science Forum, where hundreds of young, enthusiastic scientists from all over the world came together in London to hear from some of the leading scientists of today. It proved to be a remarkable fortnight of discovery and learning. The theme of this year's conference was great scientific discoveries, and each talk provided a genuine insight into what is happening right now in the international scientific community. We attended a lecture on nuclear physics and learned about the potential use of lithium from the oceans to power our planet for eons. With fusion reactors now being built all around the world, we are coming ever closer to solving many of our planet's current energy challenges. Hearing from a professor of infectious disease epidemiology gave us an insight into the importance of science in understanding the spread of Zika virus and the crucial measures being put in place to control it. A lecture on stem cells demonstrated exciting steps being made in the ever-emerging field of regenerative medicine. We witnessed lab-grown heart tissue that was actually beating. The potential impact in the, on this uh, in terms of uh, treating heart disease is enormous. Whilst there, we not only heard from the scientists making the great discoveries of the present, but got to meet the next generation. Hearing um, from people our, our age about investigations being made into quantum computing potential cures for cancer and fighting current environmental challenges made us think about our own ambitions and what we want to achieve. As a result, we have hopefully started on our journey to be part of the group of scientists making the discoveries of the future. All three of us identify as scientists and are planning our futures in medicine and physics. So hearing about these discoveries was inspirational. By connecting with like-minded people from all across the globe, we saw how each one of us can contribute to the role science plays in shaping the future. And whilst we are still too young to start thinking about our legacies, that doesn't mean we shouldn't be ambitious, ambitious in our outlook, to at least start thinking about what we hope to achieve, to contribute, or to discover. LifeSurf was a unique experience that really focused our thoughts on what lies ahead. So the question we leave you with is this. In whatever field you work in, whether that be education, welfare, the arts or the commercial sector, what impact do you want to have? How would you like your identity to be shaped by what you achieve? Thank you for listening. <laughs>